everyone, this video is meant to be the first one of a series of video tutorials about the DCS Rotorhead server and uh, some of its features. This first video is going to cover how to join the server. The first thing you want to do is go to the link in the description, scroll down and locate the address of the Discord server and then click on it. This is going to prompt you to accept the Discord invite directly in Discord. Now this is going to automatically open Discord. Make sure you go to the server rules channel. You want to go through the rules and make sure you understand them. I will mention some of the most important ones at the end of the video. And you will see the thumbs up reaction. You want to click on it to acknowledge that you have understood the server rules. You will now get a private message from the Discord bot with a code. This code is very important because it links your Discord account to your DCS pilot, allowing the server to track your stats and allows for proper moderation to avoid trolling. Now you want to go into DCS and join the server. In the search field, type in rotor heads. Now, this is pretty important. You want to make sure that you join the right server. At the time of making this video, there is two rotor head server. The main one is based in Canada. And there is the Apex Rotorhead server, which is based in Singapore. Currently, the main server is running Syria, and Apex is running Caucasus. The differences between these servers is the server location, the terrain, and the staff. All the mechanics should basically be the same. The link in the description is to join the main server. If you want to join the Apex one, it's handled by a separate Discord that you can find in the Announcements tab in the main server. Therefore, the code you get is different. The process to get it though is the same. You join that server and react to the rules to receive the code from the Apex bot, just like in the main server. The reason I'm putting such an emphasis on this is because this, this is one of the most common mistakes when trying to join. Once selected, you want to click on join. This server uses a lot of custom scripts to handle all the dynamic component that makes it so engaging. Therefore, the first time you join is going to take a bit of time, especially if you have DCS installed on a hard drive. I'm gonna have to be a bit patient on this, but it's worth it. If you have SRS installed, it should automatically connect to the server IP. Once you are in, you wanna select any alpha slot and spawn. Once in your aircraft, open the in-game chat by pressing Shift plus Tab and enter the code that you received from the bot. Make sure that you enter the whole code, and also make sure that there are no spaces before, in between, or after the code, otherwise you'll get kicked out of the server after 5 minutes. To confirm that your code was accepted, the in-game chat should reply with a confirmation. Next, you want to do a ferry flight from Alpha to Bravo in order to be able to spawn at Bravo, which is closer to the front line. This is done only once per airframe per campaign. And it's also meant to prove that you can at least take off and land a helicopter, mostly to avoid crashing on others. Now, a few important rules you have to take into account. Do not move ground units more than one nautical mile using combined arms. Even though this is a helicopter-oriented server, combined arms can be used to support a front line and should only be used by blue commanders. Due to the way that DCS works, commanding infantry to move a large distance will cause serious performance hit in the server and will ruin everyone else's experience. Second one, fixed wing are meant to support helicopters and should not be abused. You can fly fixed wing, but they can only engage heavy armor tanks and any kind of air defense unless instructed by another player flying as four air controller, a blue commander or three broken arrow which is set by blue commanders on areas and at times when and where blue force starts getting overrun by red force. These instances are normally posted in the sit rep discussions channel in the discord server. And the last one, do not engage friendly units. All the ground units that you will see in the server are made by other players. Some units require players to sling load heavy crates. This is not an easy task. If you accidentally kill a friendly unit, as long as it's not a frequent thing, nothing more than appearing in a server reports channel in Discord is going to happen. Ideally, you should replace the unit that you destroyed, and under no circumstance should you engage other players, as doing so deliberately may result in a ban. If you accidentally down another player, just apologize in the chat and all should be good. 
And to make it up, you can try to rescue his downed pilot to give him his lost life back. We'll touch a bit more on combat search and rescue and how the life system works in a later video. That's it for this one. The following videos are going to talk about specific features about the servers, such as common search and rescue, logistics and troop transfer, doing AH and working with four air controllers in JTAX, avoiding friendly fire, fixed wing, and more. So I hope this was useful, and uh, see you in the battlefield.